this is the Enemy Q&A show episode number four and we're talking about listening skills. This question comes from Marina who writes how can I deal with fast speech when words are connected so that sounds change? Marina, thank you so much for pointing this out. Fast speech is something that many learners struggle with and today I'm going to give you a few tips to deal with it. The first thing you need to do is to get some audio material that also have a transcript. There are many audio materials that you can use depending on your level. They could be video on YouTube where you can see the subtitles, it could be films if you're more advanced, it could also be um, audios from your language books where you can see the transcript, it's all up to you and it depends on your level. The next thing you need to do is to get the audio, play it and make sure you try to work out as much as you can do not worry if you don't understand something just let it play play more than once if that helps and just listen to it see what you can understand and then move to next step next step is to play the audio once again and this time you're going to have the transcript in front of you when you're going to have the transcript in front of you, make sure you pay attention to the words that you were not able to recognize earlier. Those may be unknown words to you, that is word you did not know at all, but they may also be words that you did know, but in that moment you were not able to recognize. That's absolutely fine, because in the moment you will see the word, and you will hear the word, your brain will make a connection. This will help to train your ear and in that way you will develop your listening skills. The next strategy you can use is called shadowing. Shadowing is a technique that involves talking over the audio and try to match your speech as closely as you can to the native speaker's speech. In this way you will not only train your listening skills but you will also train your pronunciation. I talk about this technique in an article on my website thelanguagehearers.com that is called 9 tips for an awesome pronunciation. You may want to check that article out, I'll put the link in the description below this video. By the way, if you are the kind of person who loves songs and love to train your uh, listening skills by listening to songs, there is also another article that may be useful to you that is called How to Learn a Language Through Songs and uh, I'll put the link below the description in this video as well. And there is also a website that is called lyricstraining.com which is an awesome website where you can find songs in so many different languages and every song has got a fill the gaps activity that is interactive that allows you to listen to the song and complete those gaps and then listen to the song again so that you can hear the song and how the words are connected together it could be useful to you so I'll put the link in the description below this video once again I hope this helps you Marina and I hope it helps anyone out there who is struggling with fast speech. Don't worry, it's just a matter of practice. The more you do it, the better you become as usual. And now I'd love to hear from you. Have you got any tips for Marina as well? How do you deal with fast speech? Let me know in the comments below this video. And if you want to be the first one to know when the next video is up, go to my website thelanguagehearers.com and subscribe. You will also receive a free ebook called How to Become Fluent in the Language You Love. And if you want to be the next one to be featured on the show, make sure you ask your question by using the hashtag AskAdemy. I will see you next time. Y no te voy a negar Estamos claros y ya No te lo voy a negar